I just got back from camping trip because you know my dad's getting tested for COVID-19 and you know I think I think more than anything what happens is when you become a terrorist leader like me you know Antifa then you have to go sleep outside it's part of being a terrorist so I went and slept in the dirt it was not fun actually um, now I'm home and what I wanted to say is so I think that when people hear me break up with Lizzie Grant, they think they know me because they're like, well, he's conservative now because he broke up with Lizzie Grant. It's like, mm -mm. okay, there's a difference, difference between being okay with someone taking everything that someone has or, or saying that that's a good thing. Like that's, that's whore type behavior. I'm not saying Lizzie is, I'm just saying her songs say that she's a whore. And um, there's a difference between like, songs about drugs and stuff like that. And um, I heard that some people have been saying some things on the internet like, um, there's no way that this guy who is a crazy person is gonna be with Miley because Miley has had sexual um, adventures with, with certain people and stuff like famous people and stuff. And they're like, well, he, he likes virgins because he, he thought Taylor was a virgin, which wasn't true. And okay, so just because I'm told something doesn't mean I believe it. Well, actually, I did believe it, but it doesn't mean that I care. Uh, even though, granted, it's like, wow, that's respect for making it that long. Um, it doesn't mean that I actually care. And um, what I know is that my entire life has like, is not for me. My life is for her. And so um, this program, I talk about this computer program where I have a serious lack of love in my life. My, my, my most love in my life is towards a woman that has contempt for gay people, like literal contempt. I mean, seriously, you don't understand the way my mom is. And then like, I don't see my family members, but I have, I have love in, in my extended family, but um, I don't think my sister likes me. And I don't think my brother is someone I, respect that much, usually, but um, that stuff doesn't matter because the suffering that happens in my life, the, 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 the problems in my life don't matter because everything that matters is her. And that's why I'm saying like, if I become president, I'm gonna ask Miley Cyrus to be the first lady and um, that's just how it is. And um, there's nothing you're gonna tell me, to convince me that I don't want her, but there are things you can tell me to convince me that I hate you. And I'm, so, so what I'm trying to say is, um, I would at least be nice with her if you're gonna say stuff. Um, but don't assume I'm like you. I think that a lot of people saw me talk about Sean Hannity and they're like, wow, he's polite to Sean Hannity. This is a bad thing. And I don't think you understand. I know Sean Hannity's fascist. You know how I know? because he doesn't actually care about his religion whatsoever, but he acts like he cares about religion. It's like he, I, I, I've watched Sean Hannity for a long time. His heart is full of hate. He is a hateful Christian. If anybody's a hateful Christian, it's Sean Hannity. So if you think that I'm going, hey, Sean Hannity, join Antifa, um, you don't understand. I was actually saying, hey, Sean Hannity, um, talk about Antifa, and then I'm gonna show you guys all kinds of things you don't know. Like, like how, how would Sean Hannity like that Max Lucado stole a book that I came up with, Peace in a Place We Don't Belong? He um, stole my whole concept for it and put it in Cure for a Common Life after I told him I was writing a book. I mean, how would he like that? Um, but I'm, I'm not, the thing is, it's odd enough, I'm not as much against Christians, but I do like sticking it to him because I'm so protective of this girl that is gay and has been told in church that she's bad. And what I think is bad is Sean Hannity. I think he's the epitome of evil. So I wanted to make sure he knows, hey, you're a fascist. I'm gonna let you know about what's going on so that you can ignore me because you're a journalist and you can act like you're a journalist and everyone at Fox News can sit around and pat each other on the ass and act like I haven't picked every single one of you. Every single one of you motherfuckers. You have no idea how much I picked you. And you can say, oh no, my boss picked me. He hates you. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like me picking these Jewish people that tried to kill me, who is that? Who really thought he could do that? Really wanna go there? You think that, um, I don't even have to try.
I'm not gonna say who I'm talking about because then I'm, but I'm just saying, um, some people get so butt hurt because they say, well, he thinks this. Well, guess what? Um, would you be shocked if we didn't have any Jewish people that were part of us? Yeah, you would be. So, um, yeah, I think you're wrong no matter what if you don't think that um, Jewish people are part of us. And so, um, yeah, there's this whole, like, I think Jewish people have this thing where they're like, I'm gonna be against him because of this. And it's like, all right. Um, do you really want to be against me? That's fine. It's good for you. I kind of like it. You'd be surprised what I'm like. You understand, there's nothing like me. You'd be surprised because all you dumb motherfuckers with your little, like, box, your little tiny box, you will never think like me. And that's why I'm, like, on a whole different level. And that's why, you know, granted, I can try to run for president. Don't care. You know why? Because I know one thing. The biggest fascist of them all is going to win. The guy who's blackmailing the other guy, he's the one that's going to win. We'll see.